G'day, I'm Matt Brown from Dunsafe. Today we're going to take you through entering a hazard, assessing the risk and putting some control measures in place. You can access hazards via Manage Hazards or you can create a new hazard by clicking Add New Hazard. So first we'll add a new hazard. We're presented with the hazard entry screen. This allows you to very quickly enter the details of the hazard prior to assessing risk and adding control measures. So the title for this hazard we'll say is Mobile Plant Interactions. And we'll say that those interactions are happening out in the laydown yard. Now the area is a subset of areas within a location. So today we're up at Jones Bay Wharf and the areas we have at Jones Bay Wharf are laydown yard, office, storeroom and warehouse. These areas are configurable to your business. In this instance, we'll say lay down yard. Reported by is the person who reported this hazard. So if you weren't the person, you can select them or otherwise select yourself, in this case me. Hazard type is the type of hazard that we are recording, whether it be biological, chemical, physical, psychological or radiation. If you have other hazards within your workplace that you'd like to record, this list can be updated for you. We'll say physical in this, in this instance. Now we click the save button. The hazard's been recorded. From here, we can assess the risk and add control measures. We'll add a new risk first. So for the title of this risk, we're going to say this is struck by mobile plant. Now without control measures, that would be pretty bad. So we're going to say the likelihood of this is possible, however the seriousness is high. Again, any of these drop down boxes can be configured to your organization's risk matrix. Now the likelihood with controls, so we're going to add some control measures in a minute, we're going to say is very unlikely and moderate. And this, uh, the status of this hazard is active. We'll hit save. From here we can now add some control measures to control this risk. So the control measures we'll add are delineation barriers, which are an engineering control, and I'm going to do that today. So in Dunsafe, controls are actions until they're complete. We're now going to add another control measure, which is vehicles restricted to 10 kilometers per hour. That's an administration control. We'll implement that today as well. We can add as many control measures as are required to address all of the risks that we've assessed around this hazard. What you'll need to do now is these are actions, and to make them active controls, we'll need to click on the control and hit update and complete once it's been implemented. You'll notice that control measure now has a little tick, which means it's, it's in place. The other things you can do with a hazard is you can quickly relate this to other hazards or to incidents that have occurred or to safe work method statements or whatever you have in place. You can add any photos of the hazard if you wish to, or any other attachments. And if you want to make any comments, you can do that here in the comments section. That's pretty much how you add a hazard within Dunsafe. If you have any questions, yell out. That's Matt Brown signing off.